Assalamualaikum and hello again everyone How are you today? I hope everybody is doing fine Are you ready for today's lesson? Let's begin Year 6 Unit 7 Lesson 5 Subject Verb Agreement For today's lesson There are Four activities that we're going to do. Firstly, the introduction. What is subject verb agreement? Then, we're going to look at the four basic rules for subject verb agreement. After that, we are going to do some practices together for better understanding. And finally, a task for you to do. You need to click the link provided to answer some questions. So, shall we start? Let's begin. Activity 1. Introduction. What is subject verb agreement? Subject verb agreement. As we already learned and knew, every sentence has a subject and a verb. The subject of a sentence is who or what a sentence is about. The verb usually tells what the subject is or does. Subject verb agreement is a grammatical rule which states that the subject and the verb must agree in a sentence. Don't worry if you're still confused or don't understand. Let's move to the next activity to learn more about subject verb agreement by looking at some rules and examples. Activity 2. Grammar rules. Four basic rules for subject verb agreement. Rule number 1. A singular subject is followed by a singular verb. For example, he walks around the park every evening. If you look at the example, the word he is the subject and walks is the verb. So, singular subject he is followed by singular verb walks. We need to add s to the verb. Next. Number two. A plural subject is followed by a plural verb. For example, they have three children. Number three, the indefinite pronouns such as anyone, everyone, someone, somebody, no one, nobody are always singular subjects. So, they require singular verbs. For example, Nobody is allowed to leave the room. And finally, rule number four. Collective nouns take a singular verb, such as a group, a team, and a class. For example, the committee decides to go ahead with the plan. However, there are two exceptional cases. The first one, I and you are both singular subjects but require plural forms of verbs. For example, I normally eat breakfast before go to school. You need to do your homework before play the video games. So, if you can see here, Usually, if the subject is singular, we need to add S to the verb. But here, for I and you, we don't have to add S because I and you are followed by plural verbs. Next. However, for verb to be, the pronouns I is always followed by M and U followed by R. 
For example, I am a year six pupil. You are a year six pupil. Well, everyone, I hope with this explanation, you get a clear idea about subject verb agreement. If you still confused, worry not. Let's do some practice together, shall we? Activity three, practice. Choose the correct answer. Well, I give you one minute for you to try out on your own. Then, we check the answers together. Your one minute starts now. Alright, time's up. Let's check the answer together, shall we? The first one. The cake has have a lot of chocolate chips in it. So which one is the answer? That's right, the answer is has. Next one. My neighbors has have beautiful gardens in front of their houses. Which one is the answer? That's right. The answer is have. Next one. They, Amanda, rarely eat fast food. So which one is the answer? Yes, the answer is they. Number four. The animals, the monkey, are placed in the cages. So which one is the answer? Very good. The answer is the animals. Number five, these restaurants sell sells food like pizzas, nuggets, and chips. So which one is the answer? Very good. The answer is sell. Next one, number six. Everybody knows no and check Cairo. The answer is yes, knows. And finally, number seven. The family, the families, has a lot of pets. So the answer is the family. Well done, everyone. I hope you managed to get all the correct answers. Now let's move to the next activity. Activity four, task to do. Please complete the exercise by clicking the link in the description box below. Well, I think that's all for today's lesson. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. See you next time. Bye.